Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to drastically improve your music videos using shakes to add energy and make your music videos just that much better. If you're new here, be sure to be subscribed because I upload videos like this all the time. But in today's video, we're just gonna be going through showing you how to add energy to a video without shakes and how it can really improve your video. And I'll show you the workflow and how to do that. So drop a like in the video and let's get into After Effects. So when I first saw this LG LG music video by Trippy Red, I thought this first little drop hit just needed a shake and it felt so out of place without it in my opinion. That I thought it would be a great way to show you how to add more energy to an energetic song like this. Just using shakes, the workflow can take, you know, anywhere from a few minutes to five, 10 minutes. It's nothing that's going to, you know, be super intensive on your computer. And it's just a great way to make your videos feel like more polished and more energetic. So this is the original music video. It's like when he went like that, I was just like, I was like, there's, there's something missing. So I went ahead and added a shake here and I'll show you how to do this whole process in just a second. Yeah, let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. And just simple shakes throughout your video can add the energy, keep the video going because an energetic song like this, especially when it's shot on like a gimbal or something really smooth, does lose a lot of like the, the feeling of energy. So if you've shot on a gimbal or a tripod, or you just want to add even more energy to your handheld shots, stay tuned because I'm going to be going through and showing you how to do all of this. So let's go ahead and start with a new composition. So nothing, no shakes or anything here. And what I'm going to be using to show you how to do all these shakes is my new plugin, Shake Sauce 2. I'll have it linked down below. If you don't have it, don't worry. You can try it out for free for seven days, cancel at any time before that, and it won't charge you a dollar. So it's 100% risk free. You're not going to want to cancel because it's amazing, but go ahead and check it out. If you haven't already downloaded it, check out Shake Sauce 2. Like I said, you can try it out for free for seven days. Link in the description. It's by far the best way to add shake and energy to your videos. And I'm going to be showing you just how to do that. So inside of Shake Sauce, there are a bunch of different presets, constant and keyframed. And for this main hit here, we want to add shake when he kind of goes like this and when the beat hit. And if you can't see your audio, you can double click L on your keyboard in After Effects and it will show your waveform. So that's a lot of times where you want to add these shakes because where there's a nice 808 hit or a kick hit, you will, you know, kind of want to add shakes there just to add more energy and make your footage match the song. So I'm going to be going through, you can just hover over all of these presets and see which one you like. I really like this Twitch one here. I think it's going to look amazing right on this hit. So I'm going to move my playhead right to where the 808 is and then just click and then just go ahead and click this check mark. It'll do a few things in the background. And now yeah. we have the shake. So it's as simple as that adding shake inside of shake sauce here. And then I'm gonna go through and go th through the rest of like this little sequence here and show you how to add different styles of shakes, how to make custom ones. That way it can flow with your project because you don't want to just copy and paste the same one throughout, but you also don't want to have a bunch of different ones. So I'm going to show you kind of the workflow of how to make it smooth and make it seem seamless. Like you shouldn't really notice that the shakes are in your project unless you were like actively looking for it. It should just like fit your song and your video perfectly. So something like here. Like when he goes like that, it just make, makes sense with the 808 hit for there to be a shake there. So let's go through and find our next spot where it kind of makes sense. Yeah, let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's I think definitely like at this part right here, just because it's so like, let's get it, let's so stagnant. So what we're going to do is line up our playhead right where that next hit is, and then just make sure to deselect all layers. And let's go ahead and use something a little bit more simple, maybe like this quick or like the stomp. Let's go ahead and use the quick. So I'm just gonna select on the clip, just gonna select on quick, and then click this check mark. It's gonna load in the background. Yeah, let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. You can see how we have this little let's get it, let's go. hit there too. Let's go. And then I think another great place is like somewhere around here, this transition. So what I'm gonna do is press U on my keyboard to expose the keyframes on this little like quick one that we just applied. I'm actually gonna copy and go over here and paste it. And then let's go ahead and line up the keyframes kind of where the hit is. And I actually wanna like, because like it doesn't actually change the clip on the beat hit for some reason in the song, I'm actually just gonna extend the shake a little bit. That way it kind of like masks the cut like that. Let's get it, let's go. Let's get it. And just tweak it around just a little bit to match our video better. It is a little weird that they don't like cut on the beat directly here. So I might just have to like make it a little bit shorter than I actually probably want. Go. Let's get it. Or just like delay the shake a second. Let's get it. 
And I'm actually just gonna mask that by going to those middle keyframes and then up in Shake Sauce 2, I'm gonna use the flicker tab and I'm gonna bring the brightness to like something more like four, just so it's a little bit more of like a, a flash as well. I think it'll mask the transition really well. Let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. Uh, let's get it, let's go. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it on this last hit here as well. Let's get it, let's go. Uh, let's get it, let's go. And I think there needs to be like some crazy shakes going on here, but this is where you need to like make your own custom one because there's not one for like this crazy like let's get it, let's go. Uh, let's get it. drum pattern. So to do that, I'm going to select on our trippy red layer here and let's go ahead and expose the audio. And we want to kind of start it here. So inside of Shake Sauce, there's this custom tab, which is really, really helpful for adding custom shakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this custom shake. It's gonna load up a few things in the background. And as you see, there's gonna be no actual shakes happening right now. But what I wanna do is I wanna zoom in a little bit and we're gonna make our own shake pattern. So let's go ahead and start off by keyframing the amplitude. I'm also gonna hold Alt on my keyboard to easy ease these just so it's a little bit smoother of a shake. Um, what else do I wanna apply? I wanna also make sure flicker's on and keyframe the brightness of the flicker. And let's go forward two frames, one, two. And let's bring up the flicker brightness to like two and then the amplitude to maybe something like around 150. And we're gonna bring up the frequency to maybe something like 12. If you just double click on the slider, you can add in any specific value you want. So say you wanted to bring it above a thousand, which would be insane. But if you did wanna do that, you could bring it to like 1500, just like that. But let's go ahead and stay around like one, like 70 or something. And then let's go ahead and go kind of right before, like it'll be hard to see in the audio form, but there's a bunch of like these drum rolls. So you kind of just have to like guess where they're at but i think the next one's like around here so i'm gonna go here and bring it back down those values of the flicker and the amplitude to zero there let's kind of see how that looks let's get it let's go let's get it let's go i'm gonna expose the keyframes i'm actually gonna make this flicker itself a little bit shorter and also easy ease them so it has like the hit of the shake lasts a little bit longer than the brightness and we can actually go ahead and copy and paste these keyframes as well and then i'm just gonna make it slightly more intense and then let's go ahead and add a keyframe here go forward bring it up even a little bit more bring it down and then also go to the flicker and do that again so keyframe brightness up brightness down Let's see what that looks like. Let's get it, let's go. Uh, Ooh, that's looking super. Let's get it, let's go. Uh, it needs to be like one or two more here. So you can see kind of this hit here. Uh, I'm actually just going to copy and paste this one and maybe make one thing that's going to help is just kind of making the amplitude a little bit more. So you can see bring it up just slightly more each time. Let's get it, let's go. Uh, let's get it, let's go. Uh, let's And then you can see in this custom sequence here, let's get it, let's go. Uh, let's get it. we have that shake. And one cool thing actually about Shake Sauce is you can go ahead and now save this shake sequence if you wanna use it in your future videos. You just wanna go where the first kind of shake starts. So right here and set center keyframes. And then we can save this as like drum roll. A lot of times in music videos and stuff, they'll be like the same drum pattern. So if you wanna go ahead and apply this to a future drum pattern, you can go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and save that. And now inside of our presets, you can see down here, there's drum roll. So let's go ahead and delete that just for right now, just to show you how you can reapply that. So as you can see, let's get it, let's go. Uh, it doesn't have the sequence there, but if we go ahead and now go to our drum roll preset, select on our layer and click the check mark, it's gonna load it up. And as you can see that same keyframe pattern. Let's get it, let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. Uh, let's get it, let's go. Let's go. Uh. Is there now. So just like that, you can see how if we delete all the shakes. Yeah, let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. Uh. Let's get it, let's go. Beats, let's go. It loses a lot of energy. And then I just split up the clips real quick just to show you how quickly you can actually go ahead and add these shakes. So let's go ahead and add our Twitch preset just to our layer down here. Yeah, it's and then I'm just gonna make an adjustment layer over and then I wanna add that quick hit here. Let's get it, let's go. And then 
I just like to make the adjustment layers above the transition, just so I could see where the transitions are actually happening. This is kind of like my workflow and apply the quick here. And then because we saved that drum roll preset, we can literally just go right here, click it on. Let's get it, let's go. Uh, let's get and then lastly, just apply one over here. We'll do that quick again. And then when we play that all together. Yeah, let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. Uh, let's get it, let's go. Beats. You can see how it just comes together really quickly. Now, obviously you can spend a lot more time customizing and tweaking the shakes to get exactly what you want, but it just goes to show how quickly you can add energy to your video using Shake Sauce 2. So if you don't already have Shake Sauce 2, like I said, there's a seven day free trial for you linked down in the description. Go ahead and sign it up. You can cancel it anytime before the seven days and you won't be charged 100% risk-free. Try out Shake Sauce 2. I think it's the best After Effects plugin hands down. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this one. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And if you haven't liked the video, drop a like on the video. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.